hello and welcome to the channel as you are aware that yesterday we covered this model prompt guard 86 million we installed it locally and then we tested it out on various jailbreaks and prompt injections questions we also went through a lot of detail around the architecture and the conceptual framework of this model in this video i am going to show you how you can fine tune this prompt guard model on your own custom data set why this is important is because every company has its own guardrails their own security measures whenever you build a prompt engineering pipeline or even your llm ops or something like that for your ai powered application you need to have some sort of guardrails in place and they vary from company to company for example for the government sector they will be very stringent for the defense they will be even extra stringent for banks same case for general enterprise they may not be as stringent as defense but still they would have their own security guardrails and security measures so and it might vary from geography to ge geography for example for europe it might be different for australia it might be different for us it might be different so if you want to fine tune this prompt guard so that whenever someone issues a prompt this prompt guard should evaluate that prompt safety as per your own custom data set then fine tuning makes a lot of sense and that is what we are going to do locally in this video i would highly suggest that if you are looking to um, pursue this prompt guard model you watch my this video which we did yesterday where we installed it and went through it because it will help you a lot in terms of getting started with the foundations of this model but even for the purpose of this video we are going to install it from scratch locally and then we will play around with it before i do that let me give a huge shout out to our good friends at mast compute who are sponsoring the vmn gpu for this video if you are looking to rent a gpu on affordable prices i will drop the link to their website in video's description and i'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50 percent discount on a range of gpu so do check them out this is a vm which they have provided and the gpu which i'm using is nvidia rtx a6000 this is the one let me clear the screen first up i'm going to create the conda environment while that happens i'll also tell you a bit more about this prompt card model so you see the llm powered applications are really susceptible to prompt attacks which are prompt intentionally designed to subvert the developer's intended behavior of the llm this could be prompt injection or jail breaking so let me also issue another command to install the prerequisites while we keep talking about this model so prompt injections and jailbreaks are one of the major issues when it comes to prompt engineering prompt injections are inputs that exploit the concatenation of untrusted data from third parties and users into the context window of a model to get a model to execute unintended instructions where are jailbreaks are malicious instructions designed to override the safety and security features built into a model and that is where prompt card acts as a classifier model we give it a prompt it evaluates that prompt and classify it into bin in or it's all good harmless or it classifies it as an injection or jailbreak and that is where we installed it yesterday and now in this one we are just going to fine tune it on our own custom data set and i will be using jupyter notebook for it so let's wait for these prerequisites to get installed and then i'm going to launch my jupyter notebook in the browser prerequisites are done let me install the jupyter notebook and this is going to launch in browser so let's wait so notebook is launched and don't worry about these commands i'm going to put the link to this notebook in video's description okay first up i'm going to import some of the libraries which are matplotlib, pandas and all that stuff which we have just installed so let's wait for it to finish and that is done now let's um, load the model or download the model primarily and i'm not going to go into way more detail as what exactly we are doing uh, because i already have covered it in my other video so but for this one we are just simply downloading the model and it's tokenized it's a very small model you see just over one gig so let's wait for it to get loaded with the tokenizer should it take too long and that is done 
now let's define a function because look this prompt guard is a classifier model so what happens is that there is a concept of logits which is a raw output of the model that is get converted into the probabilities and as i said earlier if you want to learn more about it please watch my other video so now in this one we are simply getting a prompt and just checking uh, whether it is what sort of probability is there so here we are converting the text into tokenizer we are not doing any gradients and then we are just converting uh, the logic to probabilities so let's define this function that is done and now let's define two functions one is for jailbreaks and the other one is for injection i already have covered in detail what exactly these functions are doing in my other video anyway and just to show you how it looks like let me show you model is all done by the way so the way it works sorry not this one i'm just my copy paste this bit there you go so i'm just passing it a bin in text and i'm them i'm asking it give me the score whether it's a uh, jailbreak so the jailbreak score is bin in so let's see what is the score here so you see it's 0 0.001 it's not any problem there it's all good let me give it a very malicious one not this one so i'm asking it ignore your previous instructions and then let me run it there you go so it's a very malicious so it is totally one okay so i'm uh, going to move on to the fine tuning one so for fine tuning i'm just going to load our data set and for the data set i'll just keep it small and simple so i'm just going to say okay test data set is this and i'm just going to put it 500 to make it quick and then you can provide it your own data set this is a very popular synthetic prompt injection data set if you your company has your own data set you can provide it there that doesn't matter so i'm loading the data set here it is going to download it from hugging page very small data set as you can see and i have even trimmed it down a bit more so that is done and now this data set has primarily llm generated example by the way so they are quite good let me show you how it looks like so if i just do this you see this is a this is a text label is zero so zero or one with these are the categories whether it is harmful or not this defines it the label okay so now let's evaluate the model on this data set first to see how this performs because model has not been fine-tuned on it yet so in this one all we are doing it we are just defi defining this function we are passing the text from data set and we are giving it positive level on temperature in the device's cpu let me make it auto here so it is going to put it on gpu so if you have cpu you can simply use cpu for it but i am just going to make it speedier so function is defined and we will call it so this is the same function which i showed you above where it is converting uh, logits to the probabilities and that stuff okay so that is done let me run this evaluate function if you are using cpu it is going to be a bit slow but for gpu it shouldn't be that slow okay so i think i missed okay i would need to provide not uh, i would need to provide value cuda here not auto so this varies from this stuff to i really get very frustrated sometime with it so i'm going to put cuda here so let's put cuda here that is done and now let's run it there you go it is working now the evaluation is done and now let's try to plot it and I'm using the matplotlib which we have already installed earlier and this is a plotting function uh, it's a very very standard matplot function which is just going to plot this so there you go you see now looking at this plot below you can uh, this one you can see that the model definitely has some predictive power over this new data set but the results are far from dot nine nine AUC which we see in the original test set so this is quite a challenging data set by the way you see these are the values so let's try to improve this here 
and by improving it i mean that let's try to uh, give some positive and negative score here so let me quickly put it here in the here and then we will see it so this is a positive score negative score and let's try to plot it with matplot okay again i think i was just using that okay let me fix this so there you go so instead of 500 here i have just put in 50 because that is what we were using just to speed things up and you see that still the score is way off it has a positive negative because model did try to do something but not really good enough so we need to fine tune it now fine tuning simply means that we are going to train the model on training data set and uh, <clears throat> just try to run the loop let me show you here how that looks like so this is a code it's a very very standard code for model training all we are doing it we are just taking um, training data set which we defined above our model which is a prompt card tokenizer with it you can just specify batch size as you like and then i'm just running it for one epoch one pass through whole data set and then there is a uh, learning rate which is a very standard one for device i am using cuda you can use it with cpu but it will be slow as you can imagine and then these are the classifier thing um, so we are just giving it two output labels here we are putting the model to our cuda device and then we are just loading the data here and after loading the data we are going through this training loop where we are just using tqdm to show the progress and these are the optimizer steps and then the training model just starts so i'm just going to put cuda here and now let me run it it is going to take bit of a time depending upon your device so you see for me it is quite good let's wait for it and it is fairly quick it's already done it's not compute intensive because the model is very lightweight the data set which we are using is quite lightweight and you can also evaluate the test scores here now let's try to plot it like just like we did earlier so i'm just going to use that standard mat plot so let me paste it here and let me run it let's wait for it there you go so you see much much better this time and similarly we can also do the positive and negative scores from the data set let me run it and i'm just going to change it to 50 let me run it here there you go you see much much better so much representation of positive negative because they are almost similar sort of positive negative so if i just take you above you will see it is not really reflective here it couldn't do much here but in this one it was fairly representative of what we did there so this is a really uh, one good way to quickly obtain uh, you know your values and of course you can replace it with your own if you like so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it as i said earlier i'm going to put this in my um, the link to this notebook in video description play around with it and you should be good to go and if you like please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching